All right, like I said, we're just going to step right in. We're going to go ahead and chain this back to back. And step in, and, and it's, it's it's going. It's like you're stepping in um, from one adventure out to the uh, regular zones, and into this adventure, you do get a full rest. So I do have full hit points. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done that. Full hit points, full spell points. Now we are defined. Arlos R. Curran. This is Clan Nash Prison. Oh, we did get the red name Shaman. Alright. Rock on. Oh, we killed the regular Shaman. Oh, he's tough. He's going to fire lightning bolts. Cut above, giving you a taste of what it would be like. One level higher. This is a red name. I use the arrows to break those barrels because sometimes if the barrels are half sunk, you can't melee them no matter how hard you try. Just a little interact bug. Very low priority. Now, once again, if there's a trap, if I had a trapper, the box would be right here, but this is not the world's worst trap. Pretty spaced out, pretty easy to avoid. It doesn't even kill Arlos. Thank God. Otherwise, this mission would be a lot harder. Now this mission is really straightforward. If you're go just going for the completions, going for the Zerg, all you do is you drop this valve, or this valve, either one, and that takes you to the main part of the prison. However, there are two whole additional side quests in this, uh, in this dungeon, and we are going to go ahead and do the zombie one first. You go under the water and there's a wooden hatch right underneath looks like the south facing uh, bridge. It takes you to a little area where the bodies of the clan Nash Youth's victims have been reanimated as zombies. Level 4 zombies, so they, they can, you know, if you're level 4, if they're level 4, it's a I'll do some damage. You can get through it. They're just zombies. Just cut them up. Notice down in the corner, the elf zombies have less hit points. The dwarf zombies have more hit points, in keeping with their racial stats. I spent more points for better constitution. Con in this game is definitely not a dump stat. Now I get, I think I get D6 die, uh, yeah, D6 hit dice, so. You can see where is it? you might skip on a sort since they're only 1D4 dice anyway, but 
even then you should probably 14 is the bare minimum I'll start any character on of course any dwarf I'll probably go all the way up to 16 or 18 Alright, so we're going to go ahead and throw the E switch and go ahead and do the content down there, the side quest down there. Nice long, long corridor, perfect for sniping. Used to be better when they didn't aggro so much. But we'll get into a nice long range duel with the shaman, which I guarantee you he will lose. Now, this is like the underappreciated part of the prison. Have a good hide. Especially in these early quests, you'll be all like, oh, it's just a couple of kobolds, and then out of nowhere, three or four wolves will come out. The wolves are not as bad as the dogs, though. The dogs, for some reason, the dogs in the harbor content are really kind of mean. Just to show you, sometimes the wolves can't even show up on time. Yes, I know. Hidden door. Extra rest shrine. And a collectible. Oh man, just a string of prayer beads. They get that from killing kobolds. Still breaking things. Now behind this door is I am Nash Two's additional prisoners. My int is definitely good enough to get in and say, hey, you're free. I've done a hero's work. Is it safe? Technically, no. I haven't actually cleared out the path, but those guys, we don't worry about. They're not MacGuffin Man. Now, once you go down there, when you come back, yes, they respawn. Evil. Actually, a tougher fight, too. One of them's a shaman, I think. Less wolves, more shaman. He'll just run away, so I'll just shoot him. Oh, he's got wolves. You should use the Hidnik Heavy Mace because they can't be permanently damaged. Although I'm not seriously worried about the Grand Gen Shock Longsword I picked up either. Okay, I got the one shaman over there. 
They kind of pay you before you do the blood litter optional. Which I guess I don't mind. went away. Well, once again, well, since we know we're going to aggro everybody and their mom, we'll fight or carve this fight into a couple of chunks. Kill a shaman, beat up their warriors. Ooh, he came right to us. Okay, blood litter's here, so we're gonna go ahead and shoot him up. Ooh, we got web. And then they fired me and burned their own web. Ha 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 ha, you're not very smart. They did it again. That's why we'll win. All right. That went pretty well. Picking up the loots. We're definitely going to get an arranging duel over here. We've now cleared off all the optional stuff. Oh, I do have to beat up the boxes. Lots and lots of boxes. This is the easy to find rest shrine. Right behind that door. But we're doing fine on everything. So we've cleared the boxes on that side. We are ready to do the main part of the mission, freeing Arlos from the prison. Man, they seriously changed the aggro system. Oh, look at that. They're all just like piling up right there for some reason. They're just going to pile up and let me kill them. I'll take it. Alright, so this time the geometry is working for me instead of against me. Yeah, I'll always take that. bonus. Now there are two tiers of the prison and they're coming out. Okay. Kite, kite, kite the warriors. I guess I should have looked behind me. Because once you go into the prison, another group of cobalt spawn right here. can first. Jeez. 
Okay, I have aggroed Warden Arkirk. Or Arkick. There he comes. He's always there. Cobalt Hunter. Now, there are two levels to the prison. This lever controls the lower ones, the lower cell gates. Now, once you step into here, what happens is actually a group of cobalts appears right back here. Because if you run out here without doing clearing it out with Arlos, they're going to actually uh, try to beat them up. You can fail the mission. So once you learn that dirty secret, you learn to go in real quick and come right back out. two shamans there. And of course we got the one from around the corner because my bow and arrow will argue a lot, will aggro a long way now. Okay, this is Arlos. Save him last. We're going to clear everything out to make sure nobody ambushes on the way out. Uh, ambushes us on the way out. Oh, I forgot to clear off the... No, I got it when I came from. No, I didn't. There's another ambush. forgot about that. Let's go clear that up. There are a couple of different ambushes in here to make sure that, you know, you're on your toes when you bring Arlos out. See, there they are. Uh, well, there should be one more dude. Now, once you have that cleared, you're pretty much good. You know, there's going to be an air ambush that comes out here, but Arlos runs pretty good and he doesn't fight, so you usually can make it past that. But I clear everything out. Okay, so Arlos, you just stay tight and you know, hang loose. Should be a couple more unless my bow aggroed them, which wouldn't surprise me. Now, yep, there's one cobalt shaman. Two cobalt shamans. We'll kite the other guy around. Now, in addition to Arlos, there are other prisoners down here. Usually, Two on the bottom, two on the top. You just tell them to go. They can't be hurt. They don't fail the mission or nothing. That was no vandal. Oh. There's Ransack. Now, Warden Arkirk has a chest, and it's upstairs. We're going to go get it here. This is his, like his honor guard, which didn't aggro with him, which is weird. And I guess they already opened up the top. Yep. Now these guys are from the top group of, uh, the top prison group of kobolds. The changes to aggro after the last update, they are s serious about finding you. This is quite a bit more chasey than it was in the past. Ooh, a feather falling ring. That's always good. Good stuff. People always are looking for those. 
Ring of Feathers is kind of a status symbol, but everybody wants a feather falling ring of some sort. 50 shamans. Johnny come lately here. Now, if you go the other way first, you'll flow, throw this valve and have to fight everything on the bottom, which might actually have been better for a ranger, but this is the lever to control the top prison gates, in case Arlos is up there. He's not, but we're going to get the other guys too. This is the cobalt ambush, if you go the other way. Since we're already up here, they're already up here. I think both ambushes proc the minute you enter the prison. So it kind of makes this a tougher fight. Because they're all here. Or if you go the other way, the other side would be the tougher fight. Yeah, how you look at it, I suppose. And we have ransack. I'm going to get the chest. Oh, come on. I didn't have the door highlighted. I had the chest highlighted. All right. I got to find one other prisoner. There he is. For my bonus XP. Pop down to where we know Arlos is at. Arlos is over here. Arlos, come with me if you want to live. He's telling you that his... I guess his brother is with the other group of Cobalts on the other side of the, the sewer. So we'll have to go there. We are going to run out. See, we have cleared out everything, so we can just kind of chill out here. It's like, hey, yo, Arlo, see? That's not so bad. No, he wants out. Let's get out of here. Kind of keep to one side so Arlo does not hit the trap. Doesn't really hurt him that much. I've never seen him. Then when you get to right about here, he just disappears, and you get your XPs. Now you don't have to recall, you can just take the uh, uh, the rope up. I just like the rope up. Now, before you recall out of the waterworks, you have to talk to Guard Timber to advance to Mission 3. Ven is being overheld, being held by Chief Jiddix, Tunnel Worm Cobalts. So you have to go to the other side of the waterworks. And the quest is advanced. It's teaching you about chest quest chains. Now you can run out of the run over there if you need to if you just want to keep continuing. We're getting a little full in the old inventory though. And I'm being a little low on arrows. So I'm gonna go ahead and recall and we'll see you next time. And we're going to start at the beginning of the waterworks. Usually I've been showing you how to get from one side to the other. We're going to recall and go into the eastern side next time. So thanks for watching.